Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how I created this eye look using the Morphe 350 palette thanks to my homegirl Maddie. So thank you so much for this palette because I'm in heaven. So yeah, this look is very fall and I know it's like summertime but I don't really care. So I'm going to show you how I did it and let's get into it. Okay, so starting out, I'm using this BH Cosmetics um, eyeshadow primer in the shade Malt. Taking a fluffy um, blending brush, I'm going to be going into the 350 palette and starting with the lightest shades. Um, I'm going to be mixing those two together and applying that to the crease area. Now with another fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to go ahead and dip into the soft brown shade and that I'm just going to be dragging into the crease. And that I'm just going to be dragging into the crease just to define it a little bit more. And feel free to build up this shadow, um, this is going to act as our transition shade. Now going with the lightest orange, I'm going to apply that to the crease area. I'm just going to take it from outer corner to um, inner corner, so complete like swipe motion. Then going in with the second darkest orange color, I'm going to be applying that from the outer V to the mid center of the crease.
Now taking the two darkest oranges in the palette, I'm going to be going ahead and um, outlining my crease. So I'm just going to like darken the outer corner and I'm just going to work that in like a V shaping. Now going in with the slight frosty shade, I'm going to apply that from the inner corner to about mid lid. And using the e.l.f. setting spray on one of these small eyeshadow brushes that I have, I'm just going to go ahead and use that to make it look more like a foiled shadow. So pretty much what I'll do is I will apply it while it's like kind of wet and then on top after I do that I'm going to set it so I'll use a different eyeshadow brush and I'll just pack that color on top of the wet shadow and it'll make it stick a little bit better. Then taking my favorite color out of the palette is like the shimmery rose color. I'm going to be applying that from on top of that like frosty shade to about not so much the end but kind of the end. And then on top of that, I'm just going to drag on the, um, the rustic looking orange over that and I'm just going to keep blending those but like I said I'm going to pack the color on top of what I just set. And I'll just run through the crease just because I know the the colors will transfer onto your crease so I'll just clean that up. Now I'm using the NYX Vivid Bright eyeliner in the color Vivid Halo. As you can see I'm starting really really thin depending on what you want the look to look like or how you want it to suit your eye you can make it completely different. You can use black liner. I just wanted to stay in like this little like warm family so I decided to use a yellow. I also wanted to show you guys how I like do my liner because I know that every time I try to do it on video it just never works. So this is like a technique that I learned is if you keep your eye kind of like squinted and draw like with the brush really light strokes it'll help you make like a better cat eye. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes with this pink eyelash curler. Um, this eyelash curler is bomb. I literally just bought this from like the Dollar Tree. 
because I found it and I was like, mm, I'll try it out and I love it. Then I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and applying that. That is just going to be so when I put my fake eyelashes on, I can blend them a little bit better. Lashes, I was gonna use these like lashes that I made, they're like double ups that I created, but I ended up using some like Morphe 42 lashes instead of these, but I just wanted to show you like how I apply glue to lashes, so that way you can like take away I guess whatever you need to from that. And while that's drying, I wanted to talk to you guys about this Milani foundation that I just found. It's literally $10 and it's the best foundation I've ever fucking owned. It's so similar to the MAC Studio Fix Fluid foundation. It's super like satin finish and they're super yellow undertoned. So for me, I mean it works. I'm pretty sure they have pink undertone ones, but this is just like the best foundation that I own so far from the drugstore. I ran this Wet n Wild um, Rose Nude Eyeliner underneath my eye and I'm just going to set that with the same powder that I used to um, put as my base shade. And I wanted to show you guys this, this foundation does have a pump and I will appreciate any foundation from the drugstore that, um, that has a pump because it saves you more makeup. Patting that up with the Beauty Blender, I'm going to make sure that I get everywhere, every little crease on my ears, um, down my neck. Unfortunately, I wasn't like wearing this out or anything, so if you're going to wear this out, completely blend down your neck underneath your nose, um, your little cracks from your nose, your ears, make sure you like cover everything because you don't want to be a two-tone bitch. Then taking the Maybelline Fit Me concealers, I'm using two different shades. Uh, one's fair or light, and the other one's like medium. And I just like mesh these two together because I feel like they together when you mix them to like in, they make a beautiful like under eye brightener and like highlighter. So this is what I do. This is what I've been doing for like the past two months, and I'm in love with this combo. So feel free to try it out. And then one trick that I've learned is that if you start with a brush, a fluffy brush, and you just blend it out, it will give you more coverage. Um, and then on top of that, if you just like blend it out with the beauty blender, it'll give you more of um, the like airbrush finish. But I feel like the the more that you blend it with the brush, the better it'll look, and the better it'll cover like dark circles and everything like that. Also, and then one more thing that I've been doing is I'll take like whatever foundations left on the beauty blender or on the like um, squeezer thing, I forgot nozzle, and I will run that on top of my highlight just to make sure that I'm not like I don't look stupid with like. Gives you the best, um, like, bake ever. I mean, I know Airspun's really good, but this one is, I feel like, and then whatever's left, I'll just use that, and I'll push that, um, powder into my skin. You I'm using the Too Faced, um, bronzer, the Soleil, in deep medium, or medium deep. I'm gonna be contouring my face with this. This is just to add warmth. Um, I'm actually like bronzing, I guess, but I don't really like to say bronzing. I just like say contour and yeah, 
and I'll run that um, cheekbones, the top of my forehead following my hairline, and then my jawline. Well, what's left of it, I'm fat, so I don't really have a jawline. Then taking this Wet n Wild um, blush in Mellow Wine, I think it is. I love this blush. It's super like bright on medium to deeper skin tones. And I have like a bunch of super light blushes, but I feel like this one just works really good on my skin tone. And then taking those two eyeshadows, the or the dark, the two of the darkest orange eyeshadows that I have, I'm gonna be sm um, smoking out the bottom lash line, just because I feel like it looks a, a little naked under there, and I don't like that. Then finishing the off, the off. Finishing the eye off, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara just to coat my bottom lashes. And then from there, I will start lining my lips. This lip liner is one that I got at school. It's a shitty brand of makeup, but like the lip liner is bomb as shit. And on top of that, I'm just going to be using the NYX Suede. Um, matte lip cream in i think it's this is in the shade soft spoken um when i was like doing this makeup i literally started like laughing because i felt like highly not like in the sense of like my lipstick was like popping but my lipsticks like my lips looked huge like Kylie's, and it was just like funny but anyways i'm gonna be taking that same brush that i used to blend out the concealer and i'm gonna be cleaning up the lines with what's remaining on it and then from there I will just like dust powder over the top of it you know you get you get you get what I mean and then just finishing everything off I'm gonna dust away the powder that I was using to bake and um, I didn't really have a clip of it but I was highlighting my face with the makeup revolution shimmer skin perfector thing and I love that thing it's so bomb but yeah I'm just modeling my makeup just so that way you could take it all in because I felt beautiful and I felt like nobody could fuck with me so yeah the completed look I hope you guys like this tutorial if you want to see any more um eye looks with the morphe 350 palette just let me know in the comments tab down below and yeah I love you guys and if you're new to my channel and you don't know who I am then feel free to subscribe because I'm badass